as you guys can see, I can't do anything outside. Uh, it's April 16th, and we just had a nice storm, and it's going to be like this for the rest of the week. A lot of rain, a lot of um, uh, ice pellets coming down. So there's really nothing I can do outside, so that's why I'm going to try to do what I can inside. As you guys saw, the weather outside is just terrible. It's going to be like that for the next week, week and a half or so. I can't even take the mini chopper out for a test ride to show you guys. Anyway, I had someone come over and give me 16 of these. Exactly, like this, exactly the same as these. Square tubing. And I'm sure this is used to be some kind of scaffolding or something. Anyway, it was nice of him because I can use all this square tubing to build something. And what I was thinking of building next is a mini bike. So it's, the mini bike is going to be built all of scrap out of scrap parts. Like this is scrap. Uh, well, obviously, except for the. Um, the chain and the sprocket and that but the rest of the bike is going to be made all all out of scrap so i'm going to get to that now by the way i'm building this inside in my basement because obviously i don't have a garage and i can't do anything outside so i'm gonna get to it so i went ahead and cut some pieces uh, for the bottom These pieces here are already welded on so I'm not gonna bother cutting them out uh, what I want to do is I Need to extend this back piece here So I can put the bearing here For the rear wheel So I need to attach this to this to here Put it here. I don't know if I'm gonna put the bearing on the top or maybe on the bottom. I'm probably going to put it on the bottom to make the, the bike a little bit higher. But in order to do this, I don't want to weld this around because it's not going to be like, it's not going to have enough strength. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert this piece in here, hammer it in, and then I'll hammer this one over it and bring them together. And this way it'll make it nice and stiff. I'll do the same thing with this one. And what I want to do with this here, and I have these pieces here, I'll insert this, but I want to make it come, coming up this way, and then come up this way, and then back up. This way it'll give it, um, I think it'll give it a nice, nice look. You know, I'll show you how I'm going to do that anyway. Right now I'm going to weld these parts together. There's no sense in the, uh, showing you welding these this together here I'll show you after or whatever you guys saw me weld you guys saw many people weld so there's no point of me showing you me welding this I might show a little bit of it do is I'll weld this a little bit and then I'll hammer this one in to come in close okay so I went ahead and tacked these in on top and bottom um, the reason why I tacked these before I slid this in was probably you guys probably already know and so when I try to bang these in these pieces don't go in any further so at least I know that at least this much here will be inside this so for uh, strength
Okay, so I went ahead and I drilled the holes for the bearings here. Okay, so I'm going to leave this video here. Uh, on the next video, I'm going to put the neck. Obviously, I'm going to cut these over here. I got to figure out the height. And then bring the bar at the top bars over. This bike is not going to have any suspension. So I'm going to make the seat as pat uh, padded as, as I can. And, uh, but yeah frame is coming along uh, on the back I'm gonna use an 18 18 inch wheel 
and on the front I'm going to use a 14 inch. I would have liked to use the, an 18 inch wheel on the front also, but I don't have a hub with a bearing for it. The only uh, wheel I have is a 14 inch with a, a bearing for a 5 uh, five eighths uh, axle. So anyway, yeah. He's coming along. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you on my next video. Cheers.